Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a paint protection film installation on the front bumper of this 2020 Ford F-150. So come along, I'll show you how I get it done. So you're probably wondering why I don't have the fog lamp hole pre-cut out on the template. And you know, same thing as I did on the Chevy Silverado installation a couple days ago. Um, I find that on these Ford F-150s, if I delete the fog lamp cutout and just cut it out with a knife, I feel like I can get better coverage and it just makes the overall installation of this bumper go a whole lot easier. Plus, as you're going to see soon as I start to stretch the film over towards the wheel well, I have a whole lot more film to stretch as opposed to when I have that whole pre-cut out. I have a lot less film to stretch and it just it doesn't look very good on the truck. So that's my reasoning behind deleting the fog lamp cutout. All right, so now you're gonna see me do a big stretch to get the film into place right by the wheel well there. So there's a lot of tension on the film. I've got my tack solution behind there. That way, once I got the film in place, all I gotta do is just squeegee it down and that film is gonna be locked into place. So. Every time you do an installation on a bumper, you always want to start the install in the middle. So this time I started right above the fog lamp in the middle, or not the fog lamp, the tow hook in the middle of the bumper and stretch outwards. And now I'm just getting everything else tacked down. And the very last thing I'm going to do is once I got everything squeegeed down, I'm going to take a knife, trim out the fog lamp. So now what I'm about to start doing is I'm about to start trimming out the fog lamp. So when I'm doing any kind of trimming on a vehicle ever, I always go with very, very minimal blade pressure. In fact, I go with just enough pressure that I'm just scoring the film. That way when I peel it back, I know that I haven't gone through and I haven't cut into the paint. Okay, so now that I'm about to start trimming off the excess film around the fog lamp, you're going to notice me with the blade just get nice and close to the edge of the fog lamp hole. Um, so what that's going to do is it's just going to help me give the customer a little bit more extra coverage as opposed to the pre-cut template which would have probably a 1 8 to a quarter inch gap between the edge of the film and the fog lamp hole.
Okay, so now I'm moving over to the passenger side. I'm just going to repeat the same steps as I did on the driver's side. Okay, so now that I'm just about done this installation, the very last thing I'm going to do is go around and heat up all the edges. So take the heat gun, take a rag, and I just press down on the edges, go all the way around the bumper, and make sure that those edges aren't lifting up. So this is a very important part of the installation, and by doing this, it's ensuring that once this truck goes out the door, it's not going to have to come back for any kind of repair work. And as always, I uh, just want to thank you for watching. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm going to try and upload a couple of videos like this every single week. And in case you're wondering, yes, I do install more than just bumpers. Um, I do a lot of bumper installations, but um, I also do a lot of partial front end installations as well as full front end installations. So. As a matter of fact, next video is going to be a partial front end installation on a Ford Escape. So subscribe to the channel and be sure you're not going to miss out. Thanks.